The Zamboanga siege of 2013 has created more tension, fear, and division in the city, especially among Muslims and Christians. The recovering program to build better Zamboanga is moving in many ways. Here we present the stories of two women one Christian and one Muslim, to encourage many to live and promote harmony among Muslims and Christians. This presentation is about Maminda and Hajja Sara, two friends and leaders who live the spirit of harmony. Their stories must be lessons for us to reflect. What about me? What can I do more to promote harmony in society? Mam Minda is the current president of the Silsila Dialogue Movement. She was a new graduated teacher in 1984 when Silsila started in Zamboanga. Her desire to dedicate her life to a mission brought her to Silsila and became one of the first members of the movement. From that time on, she has been involved in Silsila with different responsibilities and she started to consecrate her life to the mission of Silsila. This determination was tested when in 1992, Father Salvatore Carzeda, Pime, was killed in Zamboanga in his mission of dialogue in Silsila. It was a kind of a search and desire to do something more in my life, in that uh, stage of my life. And then I was searching indeed uh, to do something more and a very meaningful one. I was attracted to the movement because this is composed of Muslims and Christians. And it was part of my dream to serve uh, different uh, people of different uh, cultures and different situations where they are in. So I like uh, the experience because there are formation and that there were exposures, there were different and varied activities that were conducted to help uh, promote dialogue in peace to Muslims and Christians, of course. And then in the journey of being in the movement, uh, I decided together with other three Catholic Christians who are also members of the movement, to start a new experience, and this we call the Emos Dialogue Community. We are here in Padayon Center, in the area of Martha Drive, Santa Catalina, one of the areas heavily destroyed by the siege of 2013. It is part of Ground Zero. It was one of the first places occupied by the rebels and the hostages, and later subdued by the military. From the time Emmaus was able to enter again in Padayon Center, Mambinda had given a lot of attention to the people Muslims and Christians who, after the siege, have been fighting through peaceful means to claim their land and rebuild their houses. Maminda has been a major actor in this effort working together on the side of the people to defend their rights. The Emos Dialogue community at that time, myself especially and some others in the Padan Center, helped a lot in giving direction to the people around us. There were almost uh, more than 30 families that we have guided accordingly. What we were trying to build up with these people among us, with these families, is how to regain back that friendship uh, and how to rebuild back the trust uh, even among us and how to be in 
solidarity with one another. We express, people express their sentiments, their anger, but you know, this, uh, when we started to get involved in assisting them, uh, we try to encourage that after all these uh, things, it will pass and we cannot solve the problem with anger. And so there was a kind of understanding. So it helps build a common understanding that we have to uh, get uh, what is due to us, the benefits for us, but in a manner that is very harmonious uh, with that spirit of uh, being in harmony with one another. So, and also we encourage each other to pray, to pray that uh, things will will be attained. No, what they need will be will be given back to them. Will they can get what the government is supposed to give? Thank God, this time they are happy because the city government give attention to them. But it was not uh, we who personally approach them, but we help the people go to the right person in the city to express what they need and thank God the the response was very positive most of them are here at starting to build their own small houses they have already the proper documents and they are not afraid to stay anymore in their piece of land but uh, this is our experience here in the Padayon Center say uh, Tapos na mi ma'am sa housing, materials, lahat ng tao dito sa Sebastian. Lahat kami, bali 36 occupants, iba pa ang doon sa kabila. Nabigyan kami ng housing materials. Lahat na, oh, mga kapitbahay namin, nagsama-sama kami lahat doon. Mga meetings, may mga meetings. Mm. Oo, oh, doon sa padayon. I was doing all these things uh, with the people because the joy to serve and the joy to express my love and the compassion to those who are most in need. And for us, uh, in a co being in a community, a most dialogue community, our mission is really to bring this love, dialogue as love in action. And so this makes us a very happy experience. This is the road going to Lima Elementary School in the barrio of Baluno, Zamboanga City. The road is rough, the barrio hall new, and the barrio captain is close to the people and helps also the Silsila Dialogue Movement to develop the Escuela del Sembradores, a school for the farmers in that vast mountain area. The presence of Silsila in that area is a visible sign of commitment to promote dialogue with creation. In the lower part of the barrio, there is a group of Muslim families. Meanwhile, in the higher part, most of the families are Christian Chabacanos. They are simple and poor, good people that have the fortune to have as a principal of the elementary school of Lima, Haja Sara Handam, a committed Muslim leader. We went up the mountain to Lima to meet and interview Haja Sara to share a very touching story of harmony. Uh, love that I have towards people is a natural thing to me because in my life I do not have any prejudices because I, although I come my mother is a pure Bisaya and my father is pure Tausug but we do not have any prejudices in the family. I started with 66 pupils and so I wonder why is it that this community is huge it has a big area and we have many families, yet we have only 66 pupils, so it makes me wonder. I ask other uh, pupils, why is it? Do, you, do they still have neighbors around who are not coming to school? They said yes. So one day I had a tour 
Uh, it's going to that area, Palanas, that's four kilometers downstream. And uh, went again up to Nangka Plain, that is another four kilometers going up. Uh, it was a very nice experience talking with the people because they said this school had already started as existed for more than 20 years and no no na, no principal had ever reached them uh, to talk to them and so i asked what was the reason for them for not sending their uh, children to school i said it's because the distance and they have to pay for uh, the school I said uh, we will do something for that center children to school and this is where i get 159 up to this time so i started to build the school physically uh, improve physically uh, like the silsila dialogue movement uh, gave us that kindergarten classroom which really had generated enrollment in the kindergarten because when i came there was no kindergarten school in this area and uh, with all the facilities that we have from the local government, from the DepEd, it really helped the pupils increase the enrollment plus their interest towards studies uh, was also uh, motivated by the environment that we have in school. I was asking them, why is it that you do not have any birth certificate? And they answered, mom, our parents are not legally married. And so I started to ask, because I am a Muslim, my experience as a Muslim, yeah, we don't have this kind of problem in our, in our uh, group, no? So I ask, uh, what can be done? Can we possibly arrange a group uh, uh, for marriage and everything? So I started to ask the civil registrar, I wrote to Father Nebio again, if it is possible. I talked to the catechist, to list down some of the parents who are enrolled and even in the community who are not married. And I was able to get 54 couples. And so I went to the civil registrar and said, yes, it can be done. These are the following, uh, what's this, uh, requirements. So I called for a meeting, the parents are here. I talked to them, said, you have these documents, probably if we can help. So the response was very positive. All the people that I went through, uh, the agencies that I, uh, that I went through, are also responding positively. And so uh, that dream came true last October 23, when there were 35 couples who got married. Uh, the liturgy was done in the chapel, and the reception was done in Lima Elementary School. Ele del mga akel ya kasa. So, kwanto anyo ya kita ta esta hindi kasaw? Ah, kwan man ang ayak ya kasab gani nyo del usa kasa na kumana civil, pero na yung kasa na iglesia. Ara yal bene gani to almost siguro mga 10 years ma'am? 10 years. Kwanto anak pa ya tene? Na po, 4 ya mama. Ah, 4 ya. Hindi gali sagraw al pamilya si hindi Si hindi takasa na iglesia. Pura sa buhay na wad gali mam blessing ka natin. Si. So si Joy uno tamen del recipient del mass wedding, no? Joy, kusa to ya sinti kwando ya kasa to? Kung este ya dito yu kwanto anyo ya de kasaw? Dali, kasaw. Ah, 35 anyo ya mam. Kabar? Kami ni hong tunay fes. Ake lang October kami ya kasa. Si. So, uh, como yo 
de ustedes, school principal, ¿no? Uh, ¿Cómo ustedes pueden hablar con la experiencia que tienen ustedes, que son un muslim, que ustedes cristiano, que me han dado pregunta, ¿por qué muslim tú y me han dado casa con un cristiano? Ancina. Siempre, mam, alegre, ¿qué me cae? ¿Cuánto año que me dejó? Esto lo que yo tenía fue de hace cuánto la mundo, si no se mantuvo. Sí. Esto lo que fue de hace cuánto el mundo cristiano. Y a casa alegre que me imagino. Así no lo que mi marido me hace con el baba. Sí. Pero ya cuánto la tenía siempre para poder ir a mi casa. ¿Cosa el chen aquel o como cambio na de ustedes familia? Aquel no hay para ustedes y a casa para ti este ara y a casa ya de yo. Tiene ba cambio, na amor, na cosa, el amistad del un man maridable, na familia, cosa, el efecto. Veras, ma, ya puede, te pide que me mucho gracias con usted, ya puede te ayuda a ganar amor. Sí. Por 13 años que me de junto. Sí. Tiene que me cuatro bilos ganar. Sí. Es que te que me un poco dol ko toho dem vida na ya po yung experience ko na dinay anak ara mam ko kay sagraw ya do liviana di la vida ma okay kapiligan ka chu gracias contigo kay por caso contigo ya po di sila sagraya de de maridable si pues ya sinti ba ustedes kay abla hoy pwede ka si mam sara asi muslim man eli ya ni ka ustedes kay ansina kwan no hay mam no hay ka mentene daw contigo Proud kat kami kung tigo bisabi yung pwede kat tukal ase ang sina maskin un Muslim to. Kaya dito yung esa o korason, no ay Muslim, no ay Kristiano. Igual igual to tatrata. To be a hija is not by just does not end by just wearing beautiful hijab or headdress. Being a hija is something that you you are. You have been looked after by people around you and set as an example of being a good Muslim. And uh, one of our, in the Quran it is stated there, uh, one of our vows that we have to remove all the prejudices in life. That's why we stone uh, the three Saitan in Jamarat where we leave all our prejudices there so that we don't anymore carry those prejudices when we come back. And one of those is to love our fellow men. And what I did for Lima is loving my fellow men, regardless of the religion, religion that we are practicing. Mom Minda and Haja Sana are among the many models that we can propose. What about you? We hope to record many good stories of harmony in action to change the world and share the power of love, the most powerful way to document, to dream a future peace in Mindanao, where people of different cultures and religions love each other as brothers and sisters.